Hello and welcome back to Legends of the Tears of the Kingdom, last video. Um, we were planning on getting all of our towers. This video I've decided that I'm going to do the Gerudo next. Um, but... Oh, I need to go in this cave. Okay. Okay, I really don't care. Finally, these guys are down. Now we need to search for some cave mushroom. I don't have any more bombs. Let's try this again. I've got no idea what to do. Wait, water melts rock, right? That I mean erodes. Doesn't melt. No! How am I gonna do this? Okay, but I had to go down into the depths to collect some uh, bomb flowers. I'd say I've got enough now, because I didn't have any last time. Now... Hold up. I haven't got the shrine for that stable. Which means there's a shrine nearby, but it doesn't matter because I've got four shrines, which is something we're going to be doing this episode. I'm also going to be going to the Gerudo Desert. Um, plus I'm going to be getting this tower to start it off. Wait a minute. Is that thing carrying... It is. It's carrying a Boca Blin. That's hilarious. Anyway, continuing back into the caves. Okay. No. Yeet. Uh, okay. It seems we have reached a fork in the road. So, if we throw it there. Hmm. Let's go this way first. We've got enough bomb flowers to go both directions. But first off, let's continue this way. Okay, interesting. So there's another... Oh, so this just heads back here. But that tells me that... There's something... This way? Ouch. Thank God I have these fairies. Now I can heal up. Okay. those mushrooms but apparently that's not the ones that she wants what mushrooms does she want I don't know okay so maybe it's this way over here there's a couple of rocks there oh oh wait what if um so we're right under the tower now what if now Let's go! Can I scan the tower? No, I have to open this door, but there we go! That's glitching out like hell. Uh, okay, well, now let's go do the four shrines. Oh wait, we have to <laughs> move these sticks. Oh, okay, there we go. Now we can open it. Now onto the four shrines. Okay... Oh, look at that. That's a pure pad. Or she could say it, whatever. Do I have... Any shrines? Any... Maybe if we fall... Oh, 
tower. Oh, we haven't got that tower. Okay. Oh. Love a tower over there. Um, we can head over to that tower now. Well, um, after. Hold on, can I? Well, that was cool. Um, <laughs> anyway, let's do these shrines. Okay, now here's the first shrine. Oh, um, here's the first shrine. What have we got? Okay, so this is combat training shield, so I assume this is where you learn parry and flurry rush. Okay. You can reflect a projectile if you parry. Okay, I need to learn how to parry now. <laughs> As if you didn't know, I'm not very good at parrying. First try, let's go! <laughs> Who says I'm not good at parrying? Me, me, I say that. <laughs> uh oh. Do I have to do that? And then... Hmm. Let's try parrying. Oh, it worked. But I get shocked. Okay. And then this guy. Parry. But now I get hit by the fire. Hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna try parrying. Oh, darn. I'm really low HP. Let's avoid this electric ball. And then parry. I need to parry the fireball back at him, right? There we go. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's how you do it. Okay, now. Electric. Ouch. This is gonna be harder than I thought it'd be. Okay, there we go. I did get electrocuted by Perry, um, correctly, and he died, so that's a win for me. And now we can move into the next room, but first, pick up, I really want a flame weapon. Let's get both of these. I don't need the meat stick anymore. There we go. Okay. Oh, and what's this? Oh, a mighty zonite shield. Do you know what? That's pretty good. I reckon I'll drop this. <laughs> okay, now let's move on to the next shrine. Okay, here's the next one, and... Wait a minute. Adios! Ah, okay, so this one right here, we need to get the one of these balls up. So, do I just say like, attach? There we go. How do I get out of here? Oh, over there. So now what? Oh, there's. Energy, and I'm guessing these pads. Yep, they conduct energy, which is then gonna make this turn. I think it was like some kind of platform. Oh, there. Oh wait, actually, we need to get on now. Wait, wait for me. Wait for me. Wait for... Oh wait, are you supposed to... Oh no. No, thank 
Thank you. I've just gone deeper. There's too many. I can't get out. Okay, there we go. Finally. Okay, now all we need to do is... Okay. Uh, uh, oh wait, the platform's gone now. Wait, there's a ladder right there. What am I even doing? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> and there we go. There's our second one. On to next. Okay, here's the next one over at this... Oh, wait. That's actually a sick-looking stable. Hmm. Okay, well, it's over in Death Mountain. Let's do this. Against the flow. Um, okay. That wasn't really against the flow, but there's a construct here, and I know he's going against me, so if he's the flow, I just went against it. Okay, so we need to get a ball back here. Oh, right there. Hold on. Just wait. First time, that was it. It's time for a couple seconds. Now, oh my. Okay, I can see why it's against the flow. Let's go. Ow. Okay, I know what to do here. Okay, by the way, oh no. Oh no. Oh. Oh, thank God. Oh wait, will it just float off the edge? Uh... Hmm. Oh, okay, good. It doesn't respawn. Okay, so I figured out that the best one to choose is one of the smaller ones because they move far, uh, faster than the larger ones, and therefore you can get through it quicker without having to worry about one of the larger ones blocking you and sinking you. Okay, anyway, on to the next one, which is going to be... Oh, a fan. And then there's water hydrants up there. There's two fans. Hmm. Oh, I see. But can I even... No. Maybe if I fuse... The two fans... I can... Oh wait, can I launch myself up? <laughs> oh. Ah! Okay, let's try this again. Okay, so here's the plan, right? You can jump on this. Right? So therefore, boom, wait, jump on, mm, that definitely will work, I just need to get the angling right, and then we can get the fire hydrants in order to make the boat. Okay, so this time I'm going to stand on it when I recall it, and boom. Now end that, and we can get one of these. Put it over the edge, and boom. Let's try bringing this down. Okay, there we go. Okay. 
Okay. So now, we should be able to... Oh no. Okay, I got this. Let's do this. Okay, so here's the plan. I'm getting the water. Wait. Go out. Boom. Jump on. And then I'm over. Stop. There we go. We're going. There we go. We made it, and that's the final one. So I forgot about the last shrine. That wasn't the last one. The last one's over on the Spiral Island. Okay, and here it is. Let's go in. Okay, so what have we got here? Ah, so we need to get the electricity over here. Mm -hmm. Okay, and this. Wait. Which is a fan which we which we can attach. I assume there. Mm, now to figure out the rest of this puzzle. Hmm. Oh, okay. So this is gonna create that. Oh. Hmm. Let's move this back over here obviously where it's supposed to be and then let's take no I don't want to fuse that let's take this over to conduct electricity now now fly where? ah it's multiple flame emitters here Hmm. Oh, interesting. There's another chest over there, but I doubt that that's going to be helpful. Okay, so I managed to get the three flame emitters from above, but the weird thing is is that anytime I light these that happens. Which is weird because I assume we have to like ooh, 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 There we go. Final one done. Okay, just before we continue on with the natural nat number lab nap slap troll flap nat natural natural phenomenon natural 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 phenomenon quest. Someone told me to go check out the big picture of the deer guy on the ground for some reason do I know why no am I going to yes so there it is the 
zonide, whatever, the deer guy, the deer, lamb, sheep, weird guy, they told me to head over there and there should be something over there for me to do, uh, to do with some sort of main story thing, so I might head over there. Oh, um, okay, so I am seeing something there. There's a balloon and what looks to be a person. Let's go over here to this person and that is who is that? Oh it's Impa. Um well since it's Impa, I won't be surprised if this has got something to do with uh the main storyline. Uh -huh. She was a real big part of the the memory. Thing, so I'm guessing she's got some kind of equivalent with that. Hold on. <laughs> she said that she needed to go and have a higher look. Now can I... Talk. Take. Talk. Hmm. Oh, you fixed my balloon. Sure. Okay. This is going to be interesting. So, we have to... Pull... Um, okay, maybe not. Fire... So, red juju jelly. Throw and walk in. There we go. Yes, good. Hi, so... I assume this is to do something with... Memories. Oh. Hmm. Oh, yeah, dragon oh. tear. So it's so there's apparently a dragon tear somewhere around here. Okay. Well, tear, right? So hold on. Tear. These eyes are in the shape of a tear. Hmm. Also, you cry from your eyes. Oh, yeah. Okay, what's this? Me a, a new form of memory by chance? Have we been asleep for another hundred years? Definitely a form of memory. Wait, that's Zelda, right? Wait, because of the light? Yeah, that's Zelda. Hmm. Not much noise. Hello? Oh, dear. We didn't mean to startle you. I'm sorry. It's okay. My name is Sonia. And could we ask what your name is? I... I am the daughter of King Rome of Hyrule. Zelda. What an unexpected answer. We are the king and queen who founded Hyrule after all. Or at least we were the last time I checked. You two founded Hyrule? And you're the king? Mm. My name is Raru. King Raru of Hyrule. King Raru? And Queen Sonia? Uh, that must mean... 
So, Zelda's in the past. Okay, so let me guess. Her time traveling abilities um, got boosted by the stone, which then made it so then she um, essentially took herself really far back in time, and now she's trapped in the past because the stone kind of gave her like an overboost, and now she can't. Um, and now she like can't go back in time, right? Oh. Because we know that Zelda had time abilities from uh, Hyrule Warriors. Because we see her use her abilities to bring back the people from modern day Hyrule to there. But obviously she couldn't control them because she was just asking for help. And then that, and then they came. Is that a a battle towers. That looks sick. Wow. Uh, anyway, so yeah, um, we knew that she had time traveling abilities, right? But, but now that stone's kind of like boosted the power. So I'm guessing that was like the time stone, right? And if you did, and if you haven't played Hyrule Warriors, it's pretty easy to figure out which one. Um, it'll be pretty easy to figure out that she has time abilities because, like, the first ability, the first sage ability you get is from Zelda, which is confirmation that Zelda is the sixth sage. Because there are six sages, uh, because you have five rings and then that one palm thing, which is Zelda. And then there's Sidon, the other guy. And then probably the, probably the two guys from... The Goron and then... The, like princess of that area. The, the new queen to be more accurate. because originally it was um a bosa who's the queen but then the time traveling thing there is a severe lack of chic attack which i'm surprised since this chic attack could absolutely destroy ganon and we'll be able to take out any of these boca buns and probably <laughs> Uh, and probably the Demon King very easily, so I'm surprised um, they got rid of it. That's like kind of why I think this is... This isn't actually um, Breath of the Wild sequel, this is a uh, High Warrior sequel. So we basically now have hieroglyphs and whatnot that we need to go around and find and... Oh wait, that's so cool! Okay, so she wants us to go to a lost temple, which I probably will, but I'm not going to right now because I wish to speak more about my theory. So, what happens is we know that Zelda's got this like time altering power, right? And that's like from where she she knocks herself back in time now using the boosted power of the stone, also from where she gathers help in Hyrule Warriors. But you see, if this was Breath of, Breath of the Wild, then those people, those people would like just disappear and not be in here. But we know that they're in here because Sidon's in here, and Sidon's one of those people who got taken back during Hyrule Warriors. Um, so what I think probably happened is Zelda used her time abilities again to send everyone back. But since it was unpredictable. Um, it sent back all the guardians and all of and the four divine bees because everything apart from the divine bees and that like I don't know what it was called but the weird sludge stuff with like the eyes and it was all what Ganon was based around uh, like supposedly originated from Breath of the Wild but everything else in Breath of the Wild had come from previous games 
So what I reckon is like, but because like everything in Breath of the Wild is like the th three Zelda timelines colliding, and from here on it's just a lot of stuff to do with time, right? So it makes sense if they would continue this trend um, with the next couple of games, which I did. So I reckon Hyrule Warriors is the sequel because when Zelda used her time traveling abilities to send everyone back. It read that there was supposed to be guardians and divine beasts in that dimension uh, at a certain point in time. And since she couldn't really control what was heading back, she was just saying everything that belongs in that dimension needs to go back. So all of the um, all of the champions were sent back because they were their physical bodies weren't there, but they were supposed to be there. So they created a mo Mifa's statue at the top to like celebrate the fact that um, they beat them and whatnot and basically they just lost all of this guardian technology but it was as if this guardian technology never existed in the first place all they have is these like parts of uh, these ancient parts that the guardians would drop because you never see the drops of the guardians appear in Breath of the Wild when they're mining everything up, they find the guardians. So, um, obviously, the ancient parts weren't said to be in that dimension. Therefore, the ancient parts stayed here, which is why a bunch of people thought, "Oh, now, now that we have, we still have enough ancient parts to recreate this." So they continued to build and continued working, but all seemed lost. They built the giant sky towers and use paragliders as a fast way of travel but there was no massive defense on when Ganon would return or or the new threat the demon king so there was nothing really they could do about that therefore they just kind of uh, they just kind of gave up hope but then they um, but then they figured out about the the Zonite Zonite underground, and they started taking this from fr from the depths, which is how they originally discovered the depths, and like just they just kind of looked around the depths, looking for the stuff and harvested a bunch of it. Obviously, we know that there's still a lot left in there, but with that, they created the technology of the Zonite, and of course, Link and Zelda are the first people to discover this. And Link's kind of been <laughs> knocked out for a bit, like say 10 years. I wouldn't say 100 years like the last game, but like let's say 10 years, he's been knocked out. Um, and everyone's just kind of adapted. They've got weapons out of this, they've built creatures, but then Ganon has arrived again. And since Calamity Ganon has been transported back into Breath of the Wild where he was supposed to be uh, supposed to be um, uh, this world has created a new version of Ganon and built him into the timeline uh, which is obviously the Demon King and then Link goes around like in between the time that they find Zonite and the time that and the time when all the ancient tech disappears, Link goes around and he does like all of the side quests that don't involve all the Guardian stuff. Uh, like like the ancient tech labs. Basically all the side quests other than the ancient tech labs. Hmm. Huh. Okay, yeah. She's just further down in, right? At the entrance of the Forgotten Temple, he said that he's come here with him to find something, so... She's apparently gone off deeper into the temple. Yeah, we need to go deeper. Okay. But yeah, so he, like, he builds up Terrytown, he gets his own house, him and Zelda end up living together. There's obviously a lot of links to Breath of the Wild because Hyrule Warriors is Breath of the Wild in the past, but something different happens. 
um, which is the whole time time collision and the death of the calamity, who is actually just really sent sent to another dimension or time travel using Zelda's time powers. So what I'm saying is the time powers of like because they're uncontrollable, they've sent them between dimensions because obviously they're two different timelines. But because it's a time power, it's been able to interact between the two timelines and therefore change the events of what would happen in Breath of the Wild, which is what is happening in Tears of the Kingdom, apart from they would have... Um, apart from... Well, yeah, basically what is happening in Tears of the Kingdom. So, they've kind of just, like, swapped, basically. And that's kind of what's happened. So, everything that's supposed to have happened in Breath of the Wild, uh, ev everything that was supposed to happen in Tears of the Kingdom has happened in Breath of the Wild, and everything that's supposed to happen in Breath of the Wild has happened in Tears of the Kingdom. Along with all the, um, along with Sheikah Tech basically never existing. Of course, there will be slight changes to this dimension as they still had ancient parts to build off the towers and whatnot. Um, but yeah, you can tell that the towers that we have now, uh, they, they're a lot, they, they obviously use a lot less Sheikah she Tech because they didn't have that resource at their disposal. This is like, yeah, so that's basically my theory. Of course, <laughs> chances that it's actually true, very low, but it would make sense. Anyway, this is where I'm going to leave off this video. I've been recording for way too long explaining this. Um, see you next time. Bye.